When you first connect to FileZilla, you'll see something like this. The left-hand side represents your computer, and the right-hand side represents the server. To see something on the server side, we first have to make a connection to it. I use this for more than one class, so you'll see that I already have an existing website. I'm going to ask that you create a new site, and it should be named Web 105. And then once we put that in, we have options here for creating our site. So my host is mary.mccdgm.net. Yours should have your first initial and your last name, That's how, or your login to Canvas. We do it both ways. Follow the directions from your instructor. Uh, instructors are typically in by their first name. We're going to use file transfer protocol explicit FTP over TLS if available. The login type should be normal. The user will be your username. Mine's Mary. And then you'll put in the password. You should have changed it from the default password that you were given by your instructor. And then you can hit connect. And that will save it so it'll be easier to connect to later. This opens up your cPanel site, and we're going to do everything inside of the public HTML folder. You probably have a CGI bin folder, a folder with your name on it, and a private folder from the first assignment. We're going to create a new directory and enter it, and the new directory should be web105, no spaces. And we're doing this because you will probably end up, hopefully, taking additional classes, and each class should get its own directory. I'm going to hit OK. And then I need to go find where I created my Web 105 folder over on my side on the computer. So my side, I'm in my C drive, and I saved everything on this one. Now, this is not the initial page you saw from the first video on how to create the page because I'm working on updating the class. So I created a new folder, which I put into my Documents folder. So I'm inside my Mary folder. And I want to go into my Documents folder, and I have created a Web 105 folder. And this is where I want to be. Now, I've created the initial folder for my first project, and I can drag that entire folder directly into the Web 105 folder. And then what most people have trouble with is not getting this to work. It's that they want to copy one of these links at the top, but that's not actually the correct way to do this. Your website. Let me switch windows here. Your website is going to be your first initial and last name or your login to Canvas. Mine's going to be mary.mccdgm.net. Now, this gives me the top level. Private is hidden because of what we did earlier, but I can see my Mary folder, which is empty, and the Web 105 folder I just created. When I click on that, I have the initial folder, which was my first assignment, and this is the link that you'll copy and paste into Canvas to hand it in. This is the link that is available for everybody on the internet to see. So this is how you will upload and then hand in that first project.